To the Gathering fans, we're Daniel Chang at Greater Magic Cards. Um, we're here at the Emerald City Con in 2013 in Seattle, Washington. And this is a segment on just the rundown of the show of the new Gathering book, the art that was here. So this is the Symbiosis by Sandra Everham, and I personally think this is one of the most beautiful ones in terms of color. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but tell, but the color is absolutely amazing. It's digital, but it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is Uncle Istvan, which is the original, the dark set. And this pose is different than the other original dark set. He was just standing there with the axe. This particular piece is the Anthony Waters Demonic Dream. Anthony Waters did some sets um, like in Legends and Ice Age, and this is a beautiful, I like this one, it's a very Space Age zombie-like piece. This is the beautiful Julie Barrow clone. Remember the clone? Um, let me, well, can't really tell. This is the other, you guys can tell. But anyway, that's the other side. The clone is now huge. One of the clone guys killed the other clone, and it's a beautiful oil piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love the quality of the skyline and, and the sunset and the, uh, the water. Great job, Julie. And here's a Heather Hudson piece. It's absolutely beautiful. It's digital, and it's called uh, The Chains 2012. Just a beautiful piece. There's like this devilish character and symbolizes just kind of being trapped in slavery. And here's a beautiful Liz Danforth piece called The Forest and Fire Tales of Winter, acrylic on board original. And Liz, I believe, started in the Legends set, original Magic Gathering. And this is a beautiful detail here, wow. It's like a mosaic. Detailing is beautiful. This is a beautiful Brian Snowdy piece called The Recall. Was the original recall from uh, the Legends set, but this is the recall now. Brian has modernized his uh, style and it is absolutely gorgeous. We purchased the uh, Volcanic Island, the Spell Blast, and the Psychic Venom from him and commissioned him to do those, and that's one of his other ones he's done. This is a Pete Venters piece, digital, called The Demon Price of Goblins. Prince of Goblins, sorry. It's a beautiful piece. This is a two out, one of 25 in the world. I think it's like an artist proof or something from Pete. I love the, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the fire is absolutely crazy, the, the detailing behind it. This is, uh, my commentary? Um, this is a Drew Tucker piece called The Merc Dwellers. It was part of the dark set. And I like the original one, but Drew, I talked to Drew the other day, and he said he likes this one better. And, you know, I like both of them, but this is an amazing piece. The greenish color of the dwellers is amazing. The, the body texture is amazing. And this is um, an uh, oil painting. Drew usually worked with watercolor. So, you know, I'm a big fan of Drew Tucker already. And I own multiple pieces of his, but this is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it, it, this is like a fine art type of quality, to be honest. Look at this, Look at this detailing. It's unbelievable. Look at that. And this is a beautiful piece by Ken Meyer Jr. It's already sold called Eye for an Eye. This is not the original, but um, I love this piece because it has the heroin effect. It almost like has that revenge, you know, an eye for an eye feel. And I love that theme he has. The coloring is amazing. And a beautiful piece by Margaret Orrin King. She was famous for doing the Ivory Tower and the Antiquity set, and amongst other pieces in Homeland. And Magic Gathering sets, and this piece is absolutely beautiful, the detailing. Her style is very, very known for 
um, this detailing on objects. I mean, if you look at it, it's almost like you can touch a wooden the wooden object, or uh, it's almost a checkered effect. I love it. And it's called the Tools of the Trade, all watercolor, which, as you know, is very difficult. And this piece is called the Tabernacle Veiled. It's I think it's a redo of the Tabernacle Pendrel Veil, but it's veiled as in V-E-I-L-E-D by Nicola Leonard Beeson. She got married now. It's a beautiful, I love the background, it's beautiful. It's a stunning color. This is going to be featured in the 20 year anniversary book. This piece is absolutely gorgeous. Next is the Jeff Mingus Black Knight Revisited, or Black Knight's Return, I'm sorry. This piece is amazing. It, it's a shot of the, just the Dark Knight going down the forest, but it's just the lighting of the trees is what's beautiful about it. I don't even know how to explain it to you, but it's, you can, this is very hard to do. The lighting is amazing. Great job, Jeff. Excellent work. And this one, lastly, is the Mike, Michael Kimball. Mike Kimball, he started the Dirkwood Boars in the Legends set. And this is, piece is called the A Wizard's Toys, Oil on Canvas. It's a beautiful piece, I believe. That's him. I don't know. I think it's him. Um, or another uh, model. But this has a really great effect to it. Um, Mike's done some amazing work and it shows here with his piece here, it's beautiful. So, so there you go fans, my name is Daniel Chang with Graded Magic Cards. This is an awesome assortment at Emerald City Con 2013 in March. Take a look, this will be featured in the Gathering book um, that is online right now for Kickstarter. So take a look, support the artists. And um, if you want, have any questions or, or looking for Magic Gathering art, contact me directly at daniel at gradedmagiccards.com or you can always visit us at gradedmagiccards.com. Thanks again, and we appreciate your business.